So it's my last day in Israel. I am in a park in a town called Kafar Saba, which is going to be the theme of a book I think I'm starting to write, because this whole journey started in this, this area uh, when I came here when I was 16. I went to a program called High School in Israel, and my campus was in Kafar Saba. So through some strange circles and connections, I just got to have lunch with friends and um, I find it a little bit profound that this is where I'm spending the last day. So, one of the things I love about sharing things in Israel is the beautiful spaces. Uh, so here's a park. There are palm trees and a restaurant and it's quiet and there's sculptures. Uh, things that I think when people not from here think of Israel don't imagine. So, anyway, I get on a plane tomorrow morning. I have another project that is gonna be happening that I'll be working on back here in Jerusalem. And um, all that will be coming soon, all that information. So that's it. It's been a really amazing three weeks. Lots of friends, lots of connections. The show was profound to watch people's response to my work and to see it for myself. Um, but mostly there's a magic that happens in this country. There's a depth of friendship and a depth of connection that is really hard to describe. Uh, it's authentic, it's easy, um, straightforward, and spontaneous. So it's very easy to say to someone, oh, let's get together in two hours and work it out within a day or two. Um, so that's it. I just, it's a beautiful, beautiful day. I'm very happy with how everything is gone. I wanna share some of the beauty of the place and uh, I'm gonna go get my nails done. <laughs> so uh, I'll keep you all posted as the journey continues. And um, it's, it's hard to describe the, the combo of emerging as an artist and reconnecting with Israel simultaneously. Both, both have very deep, profound impacts on me and my life. So thanks for following the journey. And I'll be back in Knoxville within 24 hours, something like that. So, where it's cold.